Okay, so this problem here, 21 divided by 7. Raise your hand if you know what 21 divided by 7 is. Okay, Mul division facts are a little bit trickier than multiplication facts. We haven't worked on them nearly as much. But um, 21 divided by 7. Dane? 3. Now, the trick here is not the 21 divided by 7, but the question says... Draw a model. What is a what is a model in math? What does that mean? Who knows what a model in math is? MJ. It's like something that you can use to get to the answer. Right. It's it's a tool that we can use to help us figure out the answer to a math problem. If you remember back when we were doing our um, journal page, uh, Maybe it was Friday, maybe it was Monday, I can't remember, but we drew this bar diagram. That's an example of a model that we can use for subtraction. Our division model looks a little bit different. So remember, when we divide, we're putting things into equal groups. In this problem, we're asked to put 21 into seven equal groups. So our model needs to show seven equal groups, okay? You can draw a circle for a group. You can draw a square for a group. And then how many are in each group? How many are in each group? Ricky, how many do you think are in each group? If I take 21 and divide it into seven groups, how many are in each group? Not seven. Three. Okay, now you can show three like this, or you can show three like this. It doesn't matter. Okay? Now, another way to model division is we all know, you guys all told me earlier during the spiral review, we all know that our um, multiplication is repeated addition. If division is the opposite of multiplication, then division would be what? Repeated subtraction. subtraction. So another way that we can model this would be to do 21, and you can do minus 7, which equals 14 minus 7, which equals 7, and then minus 7, which equals 0. And then when you get to 0, you circle. How many times did it take you to get to 7? 3. And that gives you your quotient. The answer to a division problem is called a quotient. So there's two ways to model that. Now let's look at these. Raise your hand if you know how to do these. What's your strategy for doing 800 times 8? Cordelia? So I added 8 for groups, plus 800 times, and I got 1,600. And then I added that together um, two times, and then I got um, 32,200. Um, 3, so you used repeated addition. Yeah. Does anyone have a different strategy? Repeated addition is a great strategy. I do think it gives us a lot of room to make a mistake. Levi, what'd you do? Okay, so you did repeated addition with the eights instead of 800, then you added two zeros. Ryan? Then you add your two zeros. You can take 8 times 8, which is 64, and add your two zeros for 6,400. Sure. And then I have 30 times 3. Let's use that same strategy. What's 3 times 3? 9. How many zeros will I add? 1. Okay. Okay, listen closely. I want you to put this in your red math folder and we're going to keep it for reference. That means next week we can look back at this if we need help. 
And then this problem solving page can go home. Put a check mark on it so your mom and dad know we went over it. Or you can put a T to know we did it together. That can go in the left side of your VIP folder.